Batman Beyond is one of the best renditions of Batman we've ever seen in recent media. I'm glad we're seeing more and more of this character come in and out in the DC Animation Universe so far with the Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3 movie coming out very very soon, and it definitely seems like this is going to be one of the best versions of Batman Beyond we've seen on the big screen. But when it comes to Warner Brothers having some sort of beef with the character by not making any other type of thing other than the animated movies and of course the classic TV series, is that we don't even get anything else besides that. The only other rendition of Batman Beyond we saw in gaming was in Arkham Knight, with the incredible Batman Arkham suit, I think that was probably one of the best renditions of the character. We even got a picture of the Batman Beyond movie that was supposed to be upcoming, but somehow Warner Brothers turned it down, even though it was going to be made by the same people that have made the Spider-Verse films, which of course are absolutely critically successful. I really don't understand why no one would want to have a Batman Beyond movie, I mean that thing would absolutely slap right in the face. But it honestly seems like Warner Brothers care more about the DOSH rather than actually making some other Batman Beyond things and just focusing fully on DC animation. Seeing him back in Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3 does give me some hope that we will see some kind of form of Batman Beyond Media in the future, but as far as gaming it doesn't seem like they have anything planned for it yet. One thing I really do not understand is why the hell would you not go into more successful businesses with this character and actually make even more money as opposed to just making animated movies all day that no one might not actually want to watch. Especially if it did become a major flop, like uh, surely DC animation just isn't what it used to be and they were kind of occasional to flops every now and then. In my eyes, Batman Beyond is probably one of the DC's most profitable characters and it doesn't really seem why they don't even want to include this character in any other type of DC form or media. I mean, it's been over at least a year since we had another interpretation of Batman Beyond, which was in Crisis on Infinite Earths, which I really don't understand. Like, it should just be, we should be here seeing Batman Beyond and everything that he stands for and mostly anything that is besides the animated movies. If Rocksteady got involved and made a full on Batman Beyond game tied into the Arkham series, I think that would link perfectly along with the games they've gotten and of course it would make the fans extremely happy. The story could be set in the not so distant future such as how we saw it in the Batman Beyond show but make Kevin Conroy's Bruce Wayne a lot older and of course we introduce Terry McGuinness into the storyline, mix a few DLC into the mix, make an open world expansively and you've got a pretty good Batman Beyond game, like that is just my opinion in the, anyway. I think DC's main issue here is that they don't really think about the fans as often and really just think about more of the money, as I said, and in just making random DC shit that from more characters that no one really cares about or likes. If they actually decided to go all in on a Superman game, yes, that would bring in more cash, and yes, people would care about it. However, if you did the same thing with Green Arrow, I mean, a character is not very as very obscure as much as Hot Girl is, you wouldn't get as much prof as you would with a Superman game. And it's honestly just the same pattern with every single DC animated film that's came out recently. There's no exception that Batman is their most profitable character, however there are so many other characters in the DC Universe that you could eventually just turn into what could be a full on DC franchise, gaming franchise, like we're seeing with Insomniac Spider-Man going into the nice little rabbit hole that is almost going to be Wolverine next year. And with Marvel going down that exact route, why wouldn't DC want to do it and actually go get some competition in there instead of just making random DC animated movies which probably make a little tiny bit of profit to fill their pockets but not actually make what actually everyone wants and that is more Batman stuff. But yeah again, I think there's a lot better more media that we can get than just Batman. I mean even tie it into a Batman Beyond game and possibly even link it in with a Superman game. It doesn't have to be perfectly just all right on with the Arkham series. It could link into even more different timelines and different universes, which it could easily do if they actually decided to make Batman Beyond and led him into a whole different area in the DC universe and that would make the whole in expansive gaming experience even better for the player because they will always want to come back and see what they're actually planning on next, what they're going to try and do for the next game and this could actually make the DC's overall profitability so much fucking higher it is nuts. It's just crazy how they could easily just one up Marvel by doing this entire strategy but they'd rather just stick to the things that fans do not like 
and just make some absolute garbage. The only piece of animated DC media that DC have properly got right in nowadays is pretty much Crisis on Infinite Earths. Like, I can't think of any other things that they have done recently that have been exceptional, except from possibly a little bit of Batwoman, because Batwoman was also really good, I did enjoy it a little bit. And um, I would say Gotham. Gotham is isn't a bad show, a lot of people give it some crap for what it is, but I think it's personally not too bad. However, if they actually just try to get, even go in the whole route of just not making that many DC animated for a while and just focused all in the gaming industry, I think it would be entirely different. It's pretty crazy how Marvel animation used to suck because we didn't have much of it, but they went into the movies and instantly became successful, where DC was the king of the animation and ruled their own animation industry for quite some time. But now it seems to be that Marvel is the one that's upping the ante in every single aspect in their industry and doing it a lot better than what DC are doing it, which is absolutely incredible. I never thought that would ever happen. One decent idea I've always had in my head is actually seeing a release of Spider-Man 2099 on the PS5 and also Batman Beyond in the Arkhamverse. Like, if we had those two, I think that would absolutely break the internet when they eventually got released. One, because they're already going to be highly anticipated projects that most fans have been waiting for for quite a long time. And number two, it actually rise up the Marvel rivalry between DC and make them either way compatible with each other. And also they give them some similarities to actually compete against one another in order for the fans to choose which one they'd actually want to play the most. I think the main problem we have here is that DC really do not want to be as competitive as Marvel and release a very bad title that we will not eventually get and it will probably not as, uh, succeed as much as Marvel has with their Insomniac games and also with the future projects they've got coming out in recent time. However, if they actually just try to put out something decent rather than Suicide Squad Kill the Shit League, then they'd probably get somewhere. With the release of Batman Arkham Shadow, I can't really see DC mucking up another VR game despite how bad Arkham VR was. I mean, I hopefully they just get it right this time and don't disrespect the fans even more in these types of games because these are the types of games that fans go crazy for and are willing to pay the extra dosh for, so they have to make sure it's perfect before actually trying to release something like this, and then hopefully we may even get more additions to the Arkham series like such as Batman Beyond, but it's very unlikely that we'll ever get that anytime soon, and we're just kind of high hopes right now, so I honestly I don't know what the hell DC have got planned for the future but I'm just hoping that it's something decent and just not entirely obscure that no one's ever going to pay for. Whatever DC's next project is I hope to god they don't let down the fans as most of them are incredibly loyal especially with the Batman media and actually instead to just make a really good fun project that everyone is going to enjoy. As long as they don't do another Kill the Justice League they are still in my good books at the moment so I mean you really can't complain just now. But without further ado, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Do you think Batman Beyond will ever get made? Or do you think it's just a slum that's waiting to not happen ever? In my opinion, I think it's mainly down to them not really enjoying Batman Beyond. They've done what they want with the character as of follows. And I think Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3 is probably going to be the last we're going to see the character. Which is pretty fucking sad, I can't lie. Because this is a fan favourite that everyone's going to enjoy. Uh, but DC just decided to miss out on so much cash because they want to think more about themselves rather than the fans. Which, I don't know, it just feels like kind of just disrespectful in every way. But let me know what you guys think of this topic down below. Did you think Batman Dion will become a thing at the end, or do you think it's just going to be a flop? Without further ado, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. You're saying you should be the leader of the Justice League? That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, hold on there. There'd be a lot to discuss. What is there to discuss? I fund this entire operation. Have you seen our headquarters? Does this place look cheap to you? Well, that's not entirely fair, Bruce. We all pay our fair share from time to time. Clark, I literally own the building you work in. You're paying me with my own money. I feel like there are other qualifying factors in being the leader of a superhero team. You know, like actual superpowers? Do you really want to go there, Flash? Well, he does have a point there. What good are superpowers if the weakness outweighs them? Kryptonite is a very rare mineral that very few people even know about or have access to. I stopped a purse snatcher the other night and he had three of them in his pocket. Okay, I admit, it's become a bit of a problem. And it's not just the green one. There's also the red one. The black one. The pink one. Can we please not talk about the pink one? He's definitely got you there, Clark. You're not any better, Barry. 
one of your villains just freezes the floor and you go flying. You're a seasonal superhero. And Hal, your weakness is the color yellow. Yeah? So what? If someone's getting mugged, let's hope the guy isn't wearing yellow. All right, Bruce, we get it. But what about Diana? She doesn't have any real weaknesses. Sure, but come on, guys. She's a woman.